Greetings, lords and ladies. To improve your game experience and help you breeze through the newbie phase, we will take you through the first six chapters. Let's get you integrated into the world of Epic Age. After entering the game for the first time, all players will enter the basic tutorial stage. Following the tutorial, you'll be introduced to the basic controls in Epic Age. One, deploy a squadron to march towards the designated location. Two, siege a city and occupy lands. Three, attack a large city with allies. After that, you will enter the interface to choose your starting region. Different regions have different landscape and environmental characteristics. The different regions do not grant you any special boons or bonuses. Choose the region you like. If you're playing with a friend, you should choose the same region as them. Otherwise, you will not be able to join the same guild as them in the early game. After selecting your starting region, you will enter Chapter 1. You will follow the main storyline to learn about the various gameplay and content. After recruiting your first hero, you will learn about troop adaptability and counter relationships in Epic Age. As part of the core game system, mastering troop compatibility and counter relationships will help you dominate the continent. Additionally, the game also has a battle report system. These reports provide you with the details of each battle. Next is Chapter 2. Follow the quest guide to learn more about the various building effects. Each time a hero occupies or sweeps, they gain some experience. Once they gain a certain amount of experience, they will be upgraded and receive 100 bonus troop limit and attribute bonus. Remember to recall your squadrons to your main city after each battle to replenish your squadron's strength. The more troops you have, the more damage your squadrons can deal. Make sure your squadrons are at full strength. Upon entering Chapter 3, you can preview all civilizations in Epic Age. Once you progress to Chapter 7, you can choose a civilization. More details about civilizations will be revealed later. This chapter unlocks the Chronicles gameplay. You can earn gold and silver coin rewards from this gameplay as you progress through the game. Follow the chapter quests to learn about drafting reserves. Do get into the habit of replenishing your reserves to enhance your gaming experience. In Epic Age, there are a lot of events for you to participate in. Tap on the gift icon in the upper left corner to check out the events. Some of these events quests requires you to be part of a guild to complete. When you top up any amount, you get the five-star hero, John of Arc, 300 SP, and 10,000 silver coins. To check out other purchasable game content, tap the treasure chest icon in the upper left corner. Once you've completed upgrading your storage and resource tech, you'll proceed to Chapter 4. Aside from upgrading various resource techs required by your chapter quests, you will also need to upgrade your logistics tech. This tech allows you to dispatch more squadrons. You will receive Lord experience when you occupy or attack a city. When your Lord level increases by one, you get a chance to draw a Lord talent. Choose wisely and make sure you have sufficient resources. In Chapter 5, you will learn how to send squadrons out to gather. In Epic Age, you can use policies to perform various operations such as gathering. You get a certain amount of resources by gathering from occupied land that corresponds to the resource type. As you progress to Chapter 6, you will receive a free hero, Crassus. Appoint this hero as Prime Minister to boost your resource production. Follow the rhythm of this chapter to unlock the coordinated strike tech. This will also unlock your third hero slot and allow you to deploy up to three heroes in a squad. You will also receive a free hero, Pisanus. This hero can be teamed up with Achilia and Spartacus from the same faction to form the Grade A Infantry Team. This team is relatively strong in the early game. After completing all quests in Chapter 6, you will proceed to Chapter 7. This is when you will make the most crucial decision. You have to choose your civilization. After choosing your civilization, your city will change to match your selected civilization's characteristics. Aside from that, each civilization has its exclusive troops and tech. Tap on the corresponding tech or troop icon for more details. That's all for now in this guide. We hope you'll give us a like on the in-game review page. It'd be great if you could share your game experiences in the review section of the Game App Store.